In this video, we're going to be working out more absolute value equations. So in our first example here, we have the absolute value of x plus 6 equals 2x. And so we know that we're going to be splitting this into two problems. So we're going to take our x plus 6 and we're going to set it equal to 2x. And then we're going to take our x plus 6 and we're going to set that equal to a negative 2x. So we'll solve our left side by subtracting x from both sides. And we'll get 6 equals x as our first answer. And it's positive, and so we know that when we plug it back into our 2x over here, we'll still have a positive answer, so we can keep that. Then we'll come over here to our other problem, x plus 6 equals negative 2x. We'll distribute that negative sign, and we'll have x plus 6 equals negative 2x. We'll subtract x from both sides and get 6 equals negative 3x. We'll divide by negative 3 and that's going to give us negative 2 equals x. Now the issue is when we plug in our negative 2 into 2 times x, that's going to give us a negative 4. And we know that an absolute value can't equal a negative. And so that tells us that this answer right here is what we call extraneous. So it's an answer that isn't really going to work with our problem. And so the only solution that works for our equation is x equals 6x. This one won't work. Let's go ahead and let's do letter D. Here we have the absolute value of 3x minus 2 equals 2x. We know that we'll split our problem into two smaller problems where we'll have 3x minus 2 equals x and 3x minus 2 equals negative times x. Let's go ahead and solve our left side. I am going to subtract x from both sides, giving me 2x minus 2 equals 0. Then I will add 2 to both sides and get 2x equals 2. Then I will divide both sides by 2 and get x equals 1. And we know that if we take this 1 and we plug it into our equation over here, into that x, it's still going to be a positive. So we know that that is an acceptable solution. So let's go ahead and let's solve for our right-hand side. So here, we'll begin by distributing that x. And that's going to give us 3x minus 2 equals negative x. So here, I'm going to subtract 3x from both sides. It really doesn't matter which x you move. You'll get the same answer. Then I'm going to divide both sides by negative 4. And I'm going to have the x equals a positive 1 half. Now, if I were to plug in this positive 1 half up here into our x, would it still give me a positive answer? And it would which means that we're able to then say that this is also a solution. And we're done. 